YouTube, what's good? Today I have a very special video for you guys because I'm not gonna be using any of these, the clipper over combs, they're gone. So if you guys are having trouble using the clipper over comb or just, or a, a good example is like, if you guys want to cut your own hair at the house, those are pretty much gonna be impossible to use. In this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating what kind of technique I use whenever I just have nothing but pure guards to use. I'm gonna explain that in this video. But that's enough talking, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. All right, you guys, so like I said in the beginning, we are gonna be using nothing but guards in this video. So take a nice look at the before because once we're done with my client right here, he's gonna look completely, completely different. So yeah, make sure you guys memorize this because you, I can't wait to show you guys the transformation. But here, to go ahead and start on his haircut, I'm using my cordless magic clips. And like I said, we are using nothing but guards. I have my number four guard with the lever all the way closed and we're going to go ahead and start to trim up the, the top and the sides. Now for this haircut, I wanted to go ahead and begin on his lineup first. And that's because I wanna make sure that I keep the side of his lineup nice and dark. So uh, I find doing the lineup first, it allows me to visually look at where his lineup is and makes me not go too into the fade on the sides. That way I'm leaving the sides nice and dark. So now that we got the lineup out of the way, the next step is gonna be to go ahead and start on the fade. And the trimmers that I'm using here are my cordless T outliners. And I always like to go ahead and start at the corner of his lineup, just right there. And then since I am doing a mid fade, I wanna keep this kinda low. Like I'm not doing any hooks or anything like that. So I'm, I'm gonna start with it kinda low. That way I have enough room to work with to blend. And then kinda dropping it uh, once I go towards the back. Now here I'm going in just to go ahead and clean it up with my Andes Pro Foil Shavers to make it nice and bald and make it a true bald fade. Now with these shavers, I definitely recommend you guys not to go to the very top because if you guys do, that line is gonna be almost impossible to go ahead to any race. So 
just uh, try to keep it like about half an inch lower than what the top line is and then what I like to do after that is go with the grain to go ahead and blend the very bottom just a little bit it will make the difference I could guarantee you. So now here to go ahead and set in my first guideline, I have my cordless magic clips with the setting all the way open and we're going to go ahead and create a guideline by going up an inch. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure that the guidelines are nice and neat and all even all the way around. So being nice and neat is going to give you better results in the end. So definitely keep that in mind. So now here is another very important part. So we're gonna go back to our cordless T-outliner or whatever trimmer you guys use. And we're gonna just bump up the bottom line just a little bit. And that's gonna make a huge difference once you go in to try to blend in the bottom line. So definitely go ahead and do that. You'll thank me for it later. Now one thing I forgot to mention, if you guys still see a line after bumping it up a little bit, what helps me out and helps me get a little bit closer is just stretching the skin and then going under it with the, with the trimmer. It's going to get a little bit closer than by not stretching the skin. So yeah, that's a little trick I like to use. But now here I'm using the lever all the way closed with my magic clip with the clipper. And then we're going to start to blend out the bottom line. Uh, flicking up about quarter of an inch, bringing up the bottom line about halfway, I would say, to go ahead and start to blend out the bottom line. Now here I went ahead and opened my lever halfway, and then still continuing to blend up, we're going to go ahead and erase that bottom line. Now here I'm attaching my number one guard to my clipper and then once again starting with the setting all the way open and we're going to go ahead and create another guideline keeping it in that region right there what I just showed you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go up about another inch to go ahead and set the guideline. And when you guys are doing this I can't stress this enough don't be afraid to go up like if you guys are keeping your guidelines super tight the the fade is just gonna look super tight and not finished in my opinion so definitely don't be afraid to go up I know in the beginning it's gonna feel like oh no I don't want to go too high up but trust me go do the inch do the inch and again it depends on the type of hair that you guys are cutting but in most cases going up an inch on this type of haircut you'll be fine 
So now to go ahead and fade that bottom line, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to our half guard, our 0.5 guard, and this time we're gonna go ahead and start to blend downward. So um, with the open setting, I'm gonna go in just underneath the top line, making sure that I'm flicking out and making sure that I'm not touching the top line. So keep that in mind and, and make sure you guys are keeping track of where uh, you're leaving your your steps because when you're fading down anytime you're closing down the lever you're you're leaving it at a shorter setting so you definitely don't want to go too high up with the shorter setting or else you're going to just continue to uh, build the lines up so definitely keep that in mind and when we're doing this we're just trying to lighten up the very bottom line until it's completely erased so yeah First we started with the lever all the way open, then go ahead and move to the lever halfway, and then eventually go down to the lever all the way close, and that should permanently erase that bottom line. So now here is the point where I usually bring out the clipper over comb and start blending all that bulk out. But instead of using the clipper over comb, I went ahead and attached my number 3 guard and we're going to start to blend from the top down. So since the top was a number 4, now I'm going to attach my number 3 guard and start to lighten up that bulk just by using the guard. So here I'm just going straight in, doing a nice flick out motion to go ahead and start to lighten out that middle section right there. So 
now here I have my number two guard. My number three guard, I did it closed and not open. But once we start getting into the lower guards, I always like to go ahead and adjust that lever because the open and the close is going to make a big difference. So here I'm going in with the lever all the way open and staying underneath where I last left my number three guard because the number two guard open is a little bit shorter than the number three guard. So I'm staying just a little bit underneath that and once again lining up the, the middle section little by little. Now here I'm going back in with the lever all the way closed and once again staying underneath my previous step to go ahead and lighten up the bottom line. Now since I am using my wall guards, um, wall usually carries the one and a half guard. That's just in between the number two and the number one. So I attach that guard and again starting with the lever all the way open, we're going to go ahead and lighten up the middle line a little bit more. Now I'm going to go ahead and close the lever all the way and then continuing to blend out the bottom line. And if this doesn't completely blend out the bottom line, I'm going to go ahead and go to my previous step. Not previous step, but a guard lower, which is the number one guard. And then start, start with the lever all the way open, kind of just cleaning up any areas that I see that need to be cleaned up. So the fade is pretty much almost done, but we want to make this as perfect as possible. So I'm going back to the number one guard with the lever all the way open and I'm going to be playing with the lever. If the one guard all the way open doesn't get rid of it, so that tells me that I have to close the lever a little bit to a shorter setting. And just, just play with the lever you guys, uh, play with it until you reach your desired look. Now that the haircut is pretty much finished, now is the time to go ahead and either clean up your client's eyebrows, mustache, whatever that needs to be cleaned up, uh, just to make the overall appearance a little bit better and make your client feel fresh once they pop out your chair.
But you guys, we're getting to the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, feel free to hit that thumbs up. Or if you guys didn't like it, hit that thumbs down. It helps the video out tremendously. Any feedback is welcome. Uh, also, if you guys have any feedback that you guys would like to leave me in the comment section down below, feel free to do that as well. Um, but if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, um, on Instagram at Jay the Barber. But that's it for me in this week's video. I'll see you guys on the next one.